please bring us perfection. Voila. First of all, it looks like someone's pooped on the plate. Mm. What is that? That is the langoustine on top of cheese grits. And where are the langoustine? On top of the cheese grits. Oh, there they are, there. Sasha, you're at your depth on that dish, because it doesn't taste nice at all. Oh. It's a combination, it's just all wrong. I give you $50 worth of langoustine, and you give me this? What's it worth now? With the grits, I'll say 55. <laughs> this is probably worth 55 cents. Mm. Thanks for nothing. Howard? All right. Walking up, I'm not 100% confident in the dish that I'm bringing up. The plating isn't that great, but hopefully the flavors come together. So what is exactly this stuff? Uh, bell pepper, jalapeno, braised chicken, and then it's spiced with uh, a little cumin. Yeah, cumin is a spice that is not used a lot in pasta making or stuffing. Yeah, what I got here is a mouthful of peppers. Okay. It's not harmonious with a pasta dish like this. Classics work and they're appreciated time after time. Otherwise, they wouldn't be called classics. Of course. Get a good connection to the basics. Don't just fly off on a wing, okay? I, I, I don't understand. She's been nice to you, but the whole thing with you is you have this very cavalier attitude. You don't know what you're cooking, what dish you're making with 10 minutes left. Then you come up here and get misty-eyed with us, like, oh, poor me again, I got screwed up, and I'm getting tired of it. Because if you were smart, you would duplicate a plate. The fact that you're not even thinking of playing this game properly is really annoying. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna taste this. You want 15 of the same dishes up here? If you're here putting your spin on everything you make because you wanna show us how cutesy and intelligent and crafty you are, well, that's gonna get you a one-way ticket back to wherever you came from. And then you could show your friends and the six people who told you were good how cutesy and smart you are when you're home cooking at dinner parties while the rest of this group goes on and competes to become the next master chef. So, I want pasta cooked properly because you know what? That's the only thing worse than a cook who can't boil is a narcissist in full denial. Thank you for nothing. Ah, Joe's just a This is a competition about flair, about finesse, about creativity, not about copying someone else's so you can win a quarter million dollars. One dish stood out as appalling. One home cook plated raw fish. It's not raw fish. I was like, did somebody, someone do like sashimi or something? Yep, it's you. Howard, bring that dish up. Even without tasting it, you know immediately it's raw. It won't even separate. I'm just amazed. This kind of is what pisses us off. And these kind of dishes are what send you home. Natasha, first thing you need to do is refocus and just look at me. Just think logically. Bring your team together yes, and I want to hear you become a little bit more vocal. Okay, okay you're the captain. Yes, Natasha, are you listening to anything or are you that arrogant? Guys, this play looks like Lynn, I need it now. I need it now, Lynn. I need those dishes for the bride and groom right now. Everyone's just stopped all of a sudden. Guys, move! Sorry, Joe. I know, I've, I've never seen such disorganization. If we can't even do the bride and groom's table... Oh, my God. Natasha, last time, you have to stop running around like a headless chicken. You position yourself at the table and you expedite. Okay. Your team doesn't know what's going next. Stop running around. Control your station. Okay. Yes, Chef. Thank you. Okay. Call it away. Go, go. Two red. Chef, the red team is ready to go. Is the blue team ready? The blue team is ready to go. Please send it. You can send this to the... Uh, to no, the you cannot send this! Oh, my God. Look, dirty plates. Guys, everywhere. get over here. Come here. It looks like it slid off the plates. This is a bride and groom. 
Hey, blue team, blue team, this is just the bride and groom. And it's taken seven minutes to get four plates out. Get organized. You're running around like headless chickens. You're running around like headless chickens. Two vegetarian dishes. Ten seconds. Come on, guys. Blue team, I've got two tables dragging the blue team's entrees. Come on. In danger of losing his first team challenge, Lynn is starting to feel the heat. Hey, sweat box, you you're sweating look at me on the food. OK, young man, I know it's hard. You cannot sweat in the food. Yes, chef. No way. No way. You can't sweat in the food. He's sweating on the plates. He's misplating. He's making inconsistent plates. Who's plating that? That's me. I'm plating it. OK, young man. Yes, sir. Are you blind in one eye? No. It's like he almost is deteriorating in a team scenario like this. Four more proteins over here. Table two, no blue plates. Table three, no blue plates. The whole wedding party is going to eat the red team's dishes, and no one's going to even taste the blue team. They're complaining like mad. The blue team are now five tables behind. I don't want to disappoint our team. And having that pressure, it just builds and builds and builds. The stress has got to Lynn, and he's making unforgivable mistakes. Lynn! He's down. Yes, Chef. You're wiping the forehead again, and you're wiping the plates. No, I... I'm concerned about the health and safety. Yes, Chef. I just watched you wipe your plate with your cloth. Yes, Chef. Now, will you please stop? Are we going to be served soon? No, I know. We're, we're very delayed, and um, I'll go back in and check I'll on it. I'll tell you what. If this were a restaurant, I'd have been out of here. Wow. While the red team's plates are pouring out into the dining room, the blue team can't seem to get any dishes out of the kitchen. James, the lamb is cold. The lamb is cold. Get it back. Back in the oven. Get it back. Big John's kind of running plates. And I'm like, dude, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? How the hell is the lamb cold? We've had it out of the oven for five minutes, guys. The plates are cold. Come on. Joe, yes. how many tables behind are we, the blue team? The red team has already fed more than half of the dining room. The blue team is just starting on table two. It's a disaster. Put, put the onion in. Put the onion in. Five, four, three, two, one. Luca! What's the temperatures in there? Medium, chef. Luca! Yes, chef! Kathy! Yes, chef! Come here, both of you. It's raw. Touch, no, no, just touch it. It's raw. Look at it. It's still moving. It's that <laughs> raw. We've gone from a gourmet burger to <laughs> steak tartare. Yeah, sure. Stop. You've lost it. Time up. 23. Blue, go. Table 23. No red for Where's 23. the red burgers? Raw. Raw in the middle. All right, let's go. Take that back. Then wake up. What's the sauce? I'm going to create two different sauces, a reduced balsamic sauce, and I'm going to do a classic chimichurri. You only want one sauce. I mean, I've never heard anything so ridiculous all my life. Just one stunning sauce. Bethy. Yeah. Bethy got me started on two different sauces. Chimichurri was the first thing in my mind. Obviously, trying to do two sauces at once, stupid. What sauce are you serving? I'm debating between two sauces. OK, so you don't know what you're doing. Unbelievable. So here's the thing. Stop wasting time. OK. Bethy, I'm talking to you now. I promise you it's going to be one stunning sauce. Unbelievable. I'm missing something on what? mine, but... You didn't get any of the chimichurri sauce. All right, hold on a second. Let me go get you some. Oh, Hang tight. Good job, crew. We need some chimichurri sauce on this. We got a pickup. Give me one more plate on the fly. We need chimichurri sauce on this one. Come on! Move your ass and make another plate. Do I speak English? Okay. Come on! All right, what's going on, Chrissy? Hey, Mashed how you doing? potatoes. What the hell is that? Wow. What is this, like, survival food? No, southern catfish. Is this like a Philly-style catfish? I don't no. understand. No. It's fried catfish with some mashed potatoes and asparagus. You yeah. we were in the top 13. You like, asked me to make catfish? This is how I, I make catfish. I asked you to make an excellent dish. Okay. I don't happen to think that this is kind of at the level we're looking at. I think that this dish is way below your capability. You're playing it safe, and you could be in danger. I'm, you know, I'm not I, I playing just, it safe. You want to be a smart ass? I can be a smart ass, too. I don't I'm think it's at the level. Ass. Well, I'm the one that matters anyway, what I think, so. Jeez. I know my fish is cooked perfectly. I know my potatoes taste amazing. This is a dish that anybody I serve it to would be really happy to get. I know it tastes good. It's a mess. This could be the end for Chrissy. She's doing, like, Sunday night leftover dinner with catfish she found in the store. Wow. Super stupid move on her part. I mean, it could be her ticket out of here. Right, the lady who Lynn had his target on her back. Chrissy and her catfish. Let's go, please. 
You know, the funny thing is Chrissy kept saying how familiar she was with catfish, but it didn't look like it. I think my plan worked. Chrissy, what is it, please? This is fried catfish filet with some bacon cheddar mashed potatoes and steamed asparagus. Looks like a TV dinner. Damn, was that intentionally? You left the skin on? Yes. But you know that skin is like snake skin. It's like a... So you're taking off the skin? Yeah, I've just yeah. peeled the whole thing off. I know you can't eat it. I just never had it any other way. Are you cooking for the judges tonight to stay in this competition, or are you cooking for yourself again? I'm cooking for the judges. Right. There you go, don't you? Here's your spoon. Christine, how was that for you? Tastes a little bit too earthy and catfishy. It needs a little bit more elevated flavor. Keeping that skin on. You allowed the fish to get really fatty. And I think Lynn may have just dealt a direct hit. That's, you know, the $6.99 blue plate special. This is an elimination challenge. What are you gonna think if this is your last dish? Thanks. Catfish eats mud and algae. So what does it taste like? Mud. Your catfish tastes like mud. And my issue with you and our interchange before is that you think you know it all? Then go cook it all yourself at home. I know because I don't this know defensive act, no, shut up, just listen to me a second. At this point, you're wasting my time. And I don't like to have my time wasted. For me, you're done. Good job, Lynn. At least you let me know who's really here to play. My fried catfish is delicious. It didn't matter what I put on the plate. Because I got in a fight with Joe, they were going to bash me no matter what. Told you. Tastes like licking out the inside of your fish tank. My fish tastes great. It doesn't taste money. Hey, Christy, whispering to buddies around you is not going to help you. I said I knew it. If you want to talk behind my back, have the balls to say it up here in front of me. Chrissy, I'm sorry, but you need to show a little bit more respect for the judges and for everybody who's around you. You're there, you did a bad job. Be honorable, take it, go back to your station. End of the story. Howard, let's go, please. Did you disappear into the library for half an hour? No, I did not. What is it, please? I made a citrus salad with a champion vinaigrette, diced mangoes, sliced grapefruit, and just put the leg and stain on top. If I just get rid of the half the plate, i.e. the three slices of lemon, what have you been doing across the last 60 minutes? I concentrated on my vinaigrette. I, I can't see any vinaigrette. I mean, uh, Graham. Do you see any vinegar on there? No, sir, I see no vinegar. Chuck? This is a joke. I don't know what to say. You know I'm not a rabbit, and yet you serve me food that's fit for a rabbit hutch, and you're expecting me to get blown away. Well, I am blown away. I'm shocked. In fact, I'm not even going to eat it. He won't even eat it. I went out and told everyone how good you were. Absolutely. You're in a landslide, you know? This is a waste of our time. At this point, if it were up to me, I'd throw you out. I put him on the ass on the line for you, and that's the you give me. And Howard, if you're having a tough time and it's a meltdown and you're a spent force, I'll put you out your misery. Absolutely not, sir. But if that's the best you can do, then you are in the wrong kitchen.